in our discussions with numerous clients uh, we work with, and these are like 3,000 plus uh, enterprise companies, um, there's one common thread. <laughs> Uh, if we are talking to executives, like C-level C C -level executives, uh, CFOs, CEOs, and so on, uh, or heads, head of reporting departments, or uh, uh, and, and, and so on, or other people in, in like leaders, leaders in sales, leaders in marketing, and so on, everybody basically is saying the same thing, right? Um, they all say that the comments are the single most important thing they miss in their dashboards. I'm not making this up. Uh, you know, we have heard <laughs> heard uh, this from the mouths of 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 so many so many executives. This is clearly what they want and they need, and I think it's quite clear why. Um, right. So we also ran a short survey. You know, how important are the comments in in your reports and dashboards? And 44% uh, of, of, of the respondents said that it's crucial uh, to achieve the depth and, and clarity of, of the insights. And, it, and then another 38% that it's vital, um, you know, for taking informed decisions. And um, then 18% 18, 18 uh, said that, okay, it's helpful, but it's not a priority at this time. And uh, yeah, out of those 18%, and not many, not many, uh, not many respondents within this eighteen percent were, were actually executives, um, but yeah. So it's clearly uh, it's clearly a high priority, probably the biggest priority in, in, in dashboarding right right now. Um, okay, um, and then the next question: How many reports dashboards do you uh, you use? Actually, include comments. And 30% uh, said none. So one third don't use comments at all. 73%, uh, 37% uh, some comments, uh, and then only 12, 20% uh, most, and 13% all. Right. And these, this is basically within our community where we already were you know preaching about commentary and we already had two webinars on how to set dynamic commentary up in power bi using you know power apps and some more more complex uh, more complex um, ways of doing it in 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 power bi um but what i'll show today is a much more straightforward way of actually achieving that in power bi um, it is not surprising. Uh, these results are not surprising because, uh, for example, we took a, we took a look at the gallery uh, of the community gallery of the you know of the top almost 100 uh, reports that were shared there, and none of them have any comments. None of them. None of them. So it's like vast majority of PowerPoint templates that are running today in the world. <laughs> they don't include any kind of commentary um yeah so you know why is my year over year change minus 25 percent i want to know here okay hard to say uh this is not very clear uh visualization but yeah if we focus here that looks like a gap between sales and the budget for computers right it's probably so it's under under the budget so why <laughs> my most important product category uh, not uh, achieving the plan? Of course, I want to know why. Um, okay, this one is even hard harder to to understand, but uh, looks like the uh, uh, Kager. So the compound annual growth rate is uh, like has declined significantly, right? Even minus 0.9 percent, even though this line is like rendered here in the positive side. So very strange visualization. It's probably totally wrong. But if it's if the Kager is declining, well, why? <laughs> right here. OK, the net profit over time. OK, ooh, very negative profit in uh, month of January. Why, 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 why? I want to know why. Out of stock items, why? <laughs> right? First, you need to understand why. Uh, in quite depth, and then once you have a full understanding, get full insight, okay, 
then of course you can plan certain actions and your dashboards should be a means, a tool to help you achieve better dashboards, right? So you need to put those comments in. Okay, so why don't you do that? <laughs> so again, we asked the, uh, the people, you know, why don't you use comments in Power BI? And just the vast majority said either uh, that it, setting this up is too complex or that they are just not sure how to do it. Of course, because it's complex and it takes a lot of steps and, and so on. Um, and there are several ways and none of them are really, you know, straightforward. Uh, so it's just basically the technical technical issue that is just hard to do and uh, people don't know how to do it. And uh, okay, there are some some of the people saying uh, benefits are unclear. Uh, and of course, adding comments consumes resources, which is true, especially if you have a you know if you have a tool uh, where you know there's so much friction just to put a, a couple of texts uh, to the right data points in, in your dashboards, right? And that that's that's maybe the last point from this introductory <laughs> uh, uh, talk here. So it should be really straightforward. If something in, in your dashboards and so on is, is too complex, people will just not do it, right? So this like user experience is extremely important if you want to have great adoption of your reports, dashboards, presentations, and so on. You, you need to make it super simple for the end users. 